Like and subscribe on the way in the door, my people. I hope you all are having a fantastic day today. Welcome back to Fanboy Fridays. And uh, <laughs> let's get into this. Uh, so uh, maybe most of you are aware, some of you are aware, a lot of you don't care. <laughs> That LeBron James and the Lakers, uh, I believe, are one win away from winning this fake trophy. Um, so the Lakers beat the Pelicans and, you know, here, here you go, fanboys. Let me go ahead and say it. I, LeBron played a good game against the Pelicans. And now, you know, that, that's relative. But I say LeBron played a good, good game against the Pelicans. He was four for four, three. A round of applause for the deer. <laughs> but, uh, so let, let's talk about a few problems I have. And hopefully this video will stay on the shorter side. But number one, so the Lakers are about to potentially, probably because the league is wants them to win and is going to assure that they win this in-season tournament. But but they're probably about to win this in season tournament. Uh, so one thing is why are the Lakers uh, a below five hundred team outside of this tournament? That that that's one problem I have. Uh, and then the second problem I have with the Lakers, with LeBron in particular, you know, added to the list. Uh, so I'm, a lot of you fanboys like to get on here. I, I've, I've seen you in my comments throughout the season, you know, when LeBron has had a few good games and like, oh, why, why don't you talk about the good games that LeBron have? You you only talk about him uh, doing, the, doing the, a loss or doing his bad games. Uh, let, let me give you an answer for that, fanboys. Uh, that is because LeBron doesn't consistently play great. Again, this is something I've said on my channel many, many times. LeBron James is the most inconsistent superstar we've had. So just because he has a game where he goes four for four on three and everybody's praising him, uh, I'm not going to get on here and praise him for that. I will, I will give LeBron James praise when he is consistently playing great basketball consistently. Uh, and more importantly than that, when he consistently has the same effort at all times. Again, LeBron James is a front runner. When they're playing good, you can be sure that LeBron is going to try to uh, press the advantage when he's playing good, when the team's playing good, when the team is out in front, uh, when the team clearly has the momentum. But I want to say that see that same energy at all times from LeBron. I want to see that same energy when he's playing terrible, but instead of uh you know uh giving up that he says, "Hey, well, I'm playing terrible on offense. Let me make it up on the defensive end. Let me see if I can do other things to affect the game." LeBron has never ever been that type of player. I want to see LeBron keep that same demeanor when his team doesn't have the momentum. When they're, coming, when they're way behind in the third quarter. When they're way behind at the beginning of the fourth quarter. I want to see him keep that same demeanor, that same energy during those times. Which at this point, again, year 21, is like too little too late. If LeBron James, if they happen to win the championship this year, it's still too little too late. And more importantly, like I said in the title of this video, they are getting ready to win this worthless trophy. Uh, worthless in terms of legacy. Now, I'm sure they will all love collecting the money to do whatever with. But uh, yeah, this, this trophy is worthless in terms of legacy. So, you know, coupled with the fact that they haven't had to play the greatest teams 
uh, <laughs> doing this tournament. Uh, to me, it just seems a bit odd that the Lakers may turn out to win this tournament. It's just a bit strange to me. I'm not saying it's a conspiracy, but you know, uh, I'm not saying it's not either. <laughs> uh, but anyway, like I said, this is, this is not a long video. I just felt I would get on here and kind of explain uh, my reasoning behind certain things. Like I said, I'm, I'm not going to praise LeBron uh, for every good game he has simply because he's not consistent at that. LeBron has never consistently put forth the effort of a true champion, which is another reason why he should never be near the GOAT conversation. He shouldn't be on the same block as the GOAT conversation. He shouldn't be in the same city as the GOAT conversation. He shouldn't be in the same state as the GOAT conversation. <laughs> and realistically, he shouldn't be in the same country as the GOAT conversation. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I guess we're going to see what happens. Uh, I will probably watch uh, the final game of the end season tournament uh, to see what happens to... You know, see if they are giving LeBron every foul call to see how many times LeBron travels during the game that is not called, uh, to see how many of the stats they push in LeBron's favor. You know, like when he tips the ball, he gets the rebound. When someone else tips the ball to him, he gets the rebound. To see how much of that kind of stuff. Uh, to see how much effort LeBron James is putting forth uh, trying to capture this uh, Disney ring number two or the Vegas ring or whatever you want to call it. You know, I, I think I'm going to watch this this last game of the end season tournament and see what happens. But uh, again, it's not going to affect his legacy. So fanboys, if, if he wins this thing, if you guys come in my comments, next fan, Fanboy Friday is going to be really rough on you guys. Uh, but anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. First of all, what do you guys think about this in-season tournament? What do you guys think about uh, the trophy from this in-season tournament? Does it affect your legacy in any kind of way? Because I, I don't think it does. To me, it's as worthless as the 2020 ring. Uh, and also, uh, let's go ahead and ask the question. Uh, do you think <laughs> that uh, the NBA has made the road for the Lakers to this uh, trophy less difficult than others. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. You all have a fantastic day and I will see you next time. All right.